My name is Henry Snaith from Oxford University and together with Oxford PV we're developing the next generation of perovskite solar cells. Silicon is the main material used in existing photovoltaics. It's reaching its efficiency limit. So we've developed this material called perovskite that's a completely different semiconductor, but the beauty of it is we can put it on top of silicon and boost the efficiency. So we no longer are limited by this ceiling that was there for silicon, we can now raise it even higher. And that's presently what Oxford PV are pushing towards market. So now we can put perovskites on top of silicon, we want to get rid of the silicon entirely and have a completely low-cost PV product, and that's what we're trying to develop in this Prosperity Partnership. This is the material that most solar cells are made out of in the world, silicon, right? And it takes about seven tons of this material to make a million watts of solar panels. With this stuff, it takes 35 kilograms. So we're going to develop an all-perovskite thin-film solar cell that's one two hundredth the thickness of a traditional solar cell and yet twice as efficient. <laughs> Unusually for a Prosperity Partnership, Oxford TV is actually a spin-out from the university. The company has been set up to take this great idea and turn it into actual products. In this particular uh, partnership model, we actually are receiving money that will then pay to support academic research in our organization with our own scientists and engineers on site who will then collaborate with the laboratory at the university. This perovskite material is now 10 years old and yet we're just reaching commercialization. Actually the first thing we focused on is making the product reliable. Then you have to of course face the issue of scaling because the original solar cells that Henry was working on very tiny, you know, barely bigger than, a, than the head of a pin. So we have to you know, develop techniques that can produce the solar cell at low cost in larger areas. One option would, would have been to take the IP we had and try to license it to other companies. But actually, it would still take some persuasion to persuade a multinational that this new idea that looks promising in lab is actually going to be a technology within the next few decades. A single patent has some value. What really has a lot of value is a whole package and in fact a technology. And to do that, creating a spin-out company which then can take that base core IP and develop around it and develop a whole package that's actually commercializable, that's where the real value is created. The challenges we've faced have been partly technical, partly business. We had to overcome issues with stability, we had to make the materials last long enough that they're passing all the international standard tests for photovoltaics. Our challenges now have gone from fundamental technical um, risk now to commercial risk, but actually the possibility for success is absolutely tangible. We believe perovskites on silicon, followed by all perovskite multi-junction cells, will be the best technologies for delivering high efficiency, low cost. So where we could grow to is almost unbounded. I actually like taking technology to market, but the interface with the research teams is still critical, right? Because you never stop learning, you're always improving your product, you're always driving the cost down and making it more efficient. So you must keep a tight relationship with uh, your R&D teams and of course ultimately the research people who support them. And of course companies, commercial research centers, cannot afford to have that breadth of research which chances upon these sort of discoveries. The EPSRC investment in the university research has delivered fantastic science, but that science has underpinned the understanding of the materials and devices that's been invaluable for the company to really understand the product it's developing, which has enabled us to be in this position where we were sitting here with a game-changing technology on the verge of making it really happen, making it really deployable.